This arrest, as you can imagine, sent shockwaves through a quiet Long Island neighborhood as police swarmed the suspect's home. CBS 2's Dick Brennan live in Massapequa Park with reaction from his stunned neighbors. Dick? Well, Christine, even at this late hour, police officers, troopers are here at the house still gathering evidence along with a crowd of onlookers, many that have been here all day long, having a kind of fascination and fear of what happened here. And now, following the story their whole lives, only to see it literally unravel right in their backyards. Into the night, people in Massapequa Park did their best to get a glimpse of the home of the suspected serial killer living right in their midst. It's creepy, really. I mean, if you look at the house, I mean, he kind of stands out, but uh, it's, it's creepy. It's weird. It's a quiet town. Everyone knows each other. Nothing really goes on. So it was just surprising to hear and kind of scary. I was like, holy crap. Um, unbelievable right now, town. James Pagano couldn't believe when he heard the name of the suspect because he went to high school with Rex Hewerman. He was uh, very quiet, dark, um, kept to himself, and um, extremely intelligent, very smart. So just who is Rex Hewerman? He grew up on Long Island, but he worked in Midtown, an architect who ran a company called RH Consultants and Associates. How you doing? Good to see you. YouTuber Antoine Amira, who runs a page called Bonjour Realty, interviewed Hewerman about his work a year ago. What has this job uh, taught you about yourself? I think it's taught me more about how to understand people. I'm really what stood out is his, uh, his attention to details. He was very knowledgeable, very detail-oriented. Amira told us Hurman had a distinct physical presence. Intimidating, no. Imposing, uh, yes, very, very imposing. He's ahead of both me, a very large person. I still remember uh, his handshake when we met. Very strong. We can tell you right now that police and investigators have been here for per perhaps about 18 hours. How long will they be here? Well, we're told as long as it takes to gather as much evidence as possible. We're live in Mesa Park. Dick Brennan, CBS 2 News. Dick, thank you.